name is Isabella Green and today I would like to talk to you about the subject that came into my awareness recently through my work and that is the subject of autism and I am specifically interested in looking and examining a few uh, details of that subject as an autism versus enlightenment. <laughs> I recently worked with a very talented, very top 10, very multidimensionally top 10 person who has been diagnosed as autistic. I previously worked with a few people who were in various, on various levels of that autism spectrum. Um, I worked with a woman who was in her 40s and she was nonverbal, but she was channeling directly from her previous incarnation as Frida Kano and she, so her drawings and her life experience and her even her traumas in her body were very much connected to that incarnation and at the same time she was also tapped in into her cosmic essence so she was actually channeling information directly from uh, the Base station that it was connect, she was connected to, but she was nonverbal, so she could only type that. And she had a caretaker who was assisting her with all of that. And she was one of the most tapped in and advanced beings that I have experienced connection with. Although she, in human reality, was severely autistic, and she was uh, diagnosed. In that level, and she was nonverbal. She could not uh, communicate like you and I do through words. However, the message that was coming through her was crystal clear and on a higher level knowledge that normal human beings on earth have no access to, but she does. I also worked with a number of children that are diagnosed, were diagnosed autistic, and they showed me their worlds. I'm able to connect to these souls, to these children while they're asleep, and they share with me a lot about their journeys, and they share with me a lot about their abilities and how they see the world, and... It is a very different approach to reality and they, in my experience, had very strong understanding of reality from a very different perspective that the humans are still dragging their feet getting there. We're talking way past Newtonian physics, we're talking way past uh, mathematics and astronomy that is known to humanity at this time. We're talking high level knowledge, the universal knowledge that is literally moving through these children, but in this reality, in the human normal reality, they are unable to function in a way that is expected of them, as in they are not allowing themselves to be conformed into the density, into the uh, norms of, and even into, into the limitations of uh, what we call science, or what we call knowledge on this planet, because it's all BS, and they all shared the same exact concept. They all said all of this that humanity is doing, all of this that humanity is learning, teaching, and continuing to pass on, all of that is so corrupted and so contorted in such a ridiculous way that we could not possibly be part of that system. And so we came into the bodies where we were not expected to or not able to join the masses. So we were able to maintain the connection to the source that we came from. And the level of knowledge and information that came through these sessions was absolutely mind-blowing. Not only these children were, uh, for the majority, incarnations of people who were incredible 
incredible representations of human um, knowledge and advancement, but they were severely punished or severely misunderstood in previous incarnations. And so they decided that, all right, in this incarnation, I'm just going to sit here and pretend that I'm autistic while I still have all of that information coming through me. Uh, the way they perceive the structure of reality, the way they perceive the structure of sound, how they understand that consciousness is expressed through sound and sound is the foundation of everything the foundation the fabric from which uh, everything is created and we as human beings are just now starting to kind of get there we know from programs um, if you watch programs on Gaia TV the advanced uh, scientific minds talk about um, non-terrestrial technologies that are consciousness based or also consciousness affecting sound, sound affecting consciousness and that generates an object or a craft that they can travel in and so now we're just starting to hear about that but these children that I worked with few years ago, or I, um, one of them I worked with when I was just at the beginning of my practice and I had no idea about any of this myself, he explained a lot of that to me back then in that session because these children are very active in dream space, they're very active outside of uh, the physical human experience, they're connected to many different worlds and they are also telepathic. So they're fully aware of what their parents are doing, thinking. They're fully reading the minds and the states of being of everything around them. So for them, the human experience is, is like being an exposed nerve in a way. The sounds and all of the ugliness that human beings are involved in, engaged in every day, all of the distorted consciousness, all of the ridiculous things that humans are doing and thinking that it's normal and, and uh, that's how things are and should be. Everything that we got conditioned into through hundreds and hundreds of years of uh, that kind of conditioning and control, all of that feels super uncomfortable to them because it's not normal for the human being. And recently I worked with this incredible uh, woman, girl, who it was also diagnosed as autistic, but she's very verbal, she's very creative, and I was able to um, have a very coherent conversation, a number of conversations actually with her to understand a little bit more of what it is that humans are diagnosing as being autistic and what it is that comes with that whole package and so she explained a lot to me about it and as I was listening to her um, I was quite blown away because the multi-dimensional abilities that we want we want uh, multi-dimensional mind so we can be aware of ourselves outside of the human uh, 3D experience she came in with it. And all of these people, these children that I worked with, they came in with it. Uh, I, spent, <laughs> I spent years in meditation to get there. The number one question that my clients ask me is, teach me how to, or teach us how to develop these abilities, how to become telepathic, how to become multidimensionally aware, how to... Uh, know who our higher, self, higher selves are, how to experience that state of Christ consciousness, the void, the uh, fabric of reality, how to have access to the higher dimensional knowledge, to the true knowledge of the universe. These are the main questions that people coming to me for work, for sessions, are asking, and I direct them to do these advanced meditations and various spiritual practices that bring them into the state of being that the autistic kids and people diagnosed with autism come in, bring in. They have all that access, 
already as they come in. And so in this session that I recently had, and I'm going to attach just a tiny bit of the channeling where the higher self or the Andromedan elders are explaining what it is that is being autistic on this planet. So they said that it's a transitional format of the human form that the old human vessel, the body that we carry, is not fit for the next level of evolution of human state of being, human knowledge, of human consciousness. That everything that happened with the human form is transitioning now into the new state that is going to bring forth the new human that we'll talk about so much. And yeah, we, in old uh, type of human form, the body and the mind and the consciousness, the condition, and we have to meditate for years to get there. But that the transitional form between the old human and the new human is the autistic form of body. And that these volunteers come here to not only pave the way, they, uh, it, it's the knowledge through their experiences being collected into the higher realms, the evolution of the human form is happening through these volunteers who are now on earth as autistic people, children, beautiful souls, fully connected it's a transitional state of the human form from the density of 3D meat suit into the more expanded, more advanced type of the human. And no one in the near future is going to look at that as being autistic because, or as being a disorder of any sort, because we're going to move as the collective into the state of being where we are multidimensionally connected, where we are aware of who we are outside of the human physical experience, where we are connected to our gifts, where we are telepathic, where we are aware of the true science and the true knowledge of consciousness where we shift from uh, the level one civilization, uh, the uh, stone age of human experience into the more advanced interstellar st civilization that uh, we are moving in that direction. And so as we progress and move, uh, the abilities and the state of being that is now diagnosed as autistic is going to be more of the norm and the uh, fossil bodies and the fossil consciousness and the fossil uh, left brain focused perception of reality is going to become more and more obsolete and so this is what the um, Andromeda elders in that session explained and now I would like you to hear that for yourself. Here is the little tiny part of that recording and my next Soul Stream Sessions video will have the entire story of that session if you wish to watch it. I'll put it in uh, the description section for you. There you go with this channeled message. I would now like to share that we are grateful for your courage to live on earth at this time in the challenging transitional phase that is considered autistic by the humans. You are at the forefront of the new population, the new consciousness, and the new state of being. You literally are walking the path 
first ahead of the new human reality and the new human population. Consider that you're a hybrid between the old human the density and the new human the lightness and this is why the old humans do not understand who you are and this is why the bodies are not yet prepared and not yet evolved enough to harbor the new consciousness of the new human you are the transitional point and we are grateful for your willingness to take on this challenge and mission we love you dearly with all of our hearts we are grateful for you and everyone else who is in the same experience as you are as you are the system busters so to speak you are the ones pushing the limits of the old human as to bring the new human forth now isn't that special isn't that such a different perspective on these things these are the volunteers who are willing to be looked at and, and diagnosed and treated and uh, misunderstood in such a way so that that humanity can learn or that the human evolution can move through them into the next level. And think about the enlightened masters that we all know about the ones that walked to the earth the ones that sat under the tree the ones that sat in caves and put themselves in a solitary environment where they worked and worked on developing the same exact gifts they worked and worked on developing access to the void and these kids and these people that are diagnosed statistics they all have that access every single one I worked with including this beautiful young woman I just told you about they have experience and they're constantly connected to that state of being the consciousness of oneness the consciousness of unconditional love the consciousness of unity not only within our collective consciousness as humanity but intergalactically and also through the entire flow of energy that constitutes our reality how powerful is that we call it Samadhi we spend we used to in the old days spend years and years in meditation just to get a glimpse I myself spend six years getting up at 3 30 in the morning just to get a glimpse of what these kids kids and uh, that beautiful woman I just work with were born with so I hope that this if you are a parent to an autistic child I hope this gives you a little bit of a broader understanding of what's going on with your kid of who they are they're here to pave the way for the new consciousness for the new state of being of us and the new level of evolution of humanity where we're not left brain centered anymore where we're not limited and blocked but where we have our abilities and where we're perceiving reality through all of our senses not only physical senses of the body but also the multi-dimensional essence of ourselves Thank you for listening today. If you'd like to have a session with me, you can reach me at isabellagreen.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll bring you all kinds of information on this channel. And now I'll see you next time. Take care. Namaste.